Blank. Okay. <laughs> Did you ever do something that you were not in going to trouble for in school? Of course. Okay, can you tell us one thing as long as it's legal? <laughs> Uh, lied about where I was going. <laughs> and what happened? Our parents were very upset. What is your punishment? <coughs> hmm. I was shouted at. Yeah. <laughs> okay, where do you stay at the moment? Uh, in Waterproof Ridge. Okay. Can you give me directions from your house to nearest Woolworths? Yes, actually, from my home. If you depends on the gate. Mm -hmm. All right. So assuming it's the easiest one, you'll leave, turn right, you turn right again, go all the way down until you can't go forward anymore, you go left, and then at how many circles are there? Two. Okay. Right. <laughs> at the second circle, you'll go left, and then you'll go right into that shopping center, and there's the Woolworths. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, have you guys worked it out? Yeah. What is the two dominant? Yeah. Yeah. Have you noticed how easy it was to choose yeah. 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 Right? Because as we grow up, we're born with all three. Mm -hmm. Two become strongest. Mm -hmm. When you understand what your two strongest ones are, you can adjust to the third, which means that it allows you to connect with anybody, anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. So when I was with uh, when I was with the CEO and he was very kinesthetic visual, what I did is I said to him, "Dude, let's get out from behind your desk and let's take a walk." We took a walk and I showed him exactly what would happen, how we would do things, and we closed the deal within a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Normally, what happens with these three million rand deals? They want you to go through all of the different granny stories, and I'm like, I don't have time for that shit. <laughs> right? Let's just connect with you right now as is. Like, what can we do differently? Understand the person, even when they're walking into the room, you can tell a lot about them. So would you like this assessment in front of everybody? Tell you what this means to you? Sure. Okay, you sure? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm quite... I do have a tendency to make people cry sometimes. <laughs> so I'm apologizing in advance, right? Okay, you're the type of person... Okay, you're actually a very down-to-earth, very giving person. You sacrifice a lot for the people around you. In fact, you do other people's work so they don't get into shit. You're the type of person who likes everything to be beautiful, look beautiful. You're amazing as a human being. You know where, you, where your things are and it's got to stay there. When you go home, that's your safe place. You kick off your shoes and you get comfortable. You put on the music that you enjoy and you absolutely enjoy your beautiful space around you which has got a lot of different color, strong color. Because you're a very strong personality. But growing up, you've been hurt a lot. People have taken advantage of you in many ways. Um, and you've had to find your voice. And it's been a difficult journey. And it's something that's very hard. But you've managed to conquer. And you are in that space where it's watch the space world. Right? You're taking back you. And it, it, it shows in the way that you dress, in the way that you, you present yourself. It's not easy speaking in front of people. So being MC is a huge thing for you. Huge butterflies, it's scary for you as well, but you're doing it and you're doing a brilliant job with it mm -hmm. because you are conquering fears, finding your voice, because it was never easy growing up. Oh, wow. right. I, you're the type of person as well that when you walk into a shop, you know exactly what you want, where you're going, you get it and you get out because you're not interested in wrong granny stories. <laughs> <laughs> and when you see, even if you're picking clothes, you will scan an entire department store, see exactly what you want, get what you like, and you've already pictured back at home what it would match. Yeah. So everything that you have, also the accessories, everything has got a time and a place, even the underwear matches. Because <laughs> <laughs> you want to feel beautiful. Right? The thing is that the way people have taken advantage of you is that when you couldn't find your voice, when you were younger, and that still hurts you. You're the type of person that even though you're smiling, people don't realize that their words, their actions, their thoughts are hurting you. You don't like when people hurt each other as well, when they're fighting with each other. When you find, you give, you give trust unconditionally, the first time to anybody and everybody, and then they must disprove it. They will actually show you their true colors, and once they do, you don't want them in your space. When you see them walking towards you, you turn around and walk off, because you don't want that interaction, because you don't want to be hurt anymore. You're tired of it. 
You're tired of people not acknowledging you either. Mm. And you do a shitload for lots of people. Mm. You don't know how to say no. Mm. You don't. You attempt it and it hurts you, but you don't know how to say no. And so what happens is you end up doing everything for everybody all the time. You create the most beautiful get-togethers. Everybody's got the perfect music, perfect drink, perfect food. The home looks gorgeous. You go out of your way at the end of the night, you are absolutely tired. You're thrilled that everybody had an awesome time and you didn't. Because you were slaving away for everybody else. Selfish and selfless. When you give too much, you need to find the balance and allow yourself to receive. Now, when you're with people, the audio people is the, are the people that will actually irritate you. Yes. Because your attention span, <laughs> when it comes to listening, your attention span is very limited. And it's not because of who you are, it's your learning style. Because what happens is that you get a picture. When somebody's talking to you, you interrupt them and you start giving them solutions because you want to help them. Mm. Problem is you didn't hear the complete sentence. So you give them half a solution to half the problem. And where you can change and adjust is allow people to then finish their sentences or when they talk too much or you heard it again for the 10th time, you say, you know what, I've got two minutes. Can you explain this in two minutes because I don't have a lot of time. And you keep doing that all the time and all you people then start to be like, oh shit, okay. I'm coming to her, two minutes is all I, all I get. When you're sending her emails, okay, when you interact with her, don't belittle her. Don't scream at her in front of people. If you want her to do something for you, make your voice gentle. If you need to say something that is not good, like feedback, you take a walk with her and say, you know what, there's a few things that did not work. How do you feel we could have changed or adjusted? What do you think you could have done differently? Because what I've noticed is that you didn't complete the report. Do you need any more help? What can I, what can I, what skill can I share with you? And what you're doing is you're taking responsibility of helping somebody else grow. Instead of, are you stupid? Is something wrong with you? Like, what the hell's wrong with you? That tone, that voice, those words, you've immediately broken the relationship. Mm -hmm. Now listen to those words and how do we treat the people in our lives? The men in our lives, the children in our lives, the women in our lives. How many of you are standing here still hating some people or circumstances or things that they did to you? And it keeps coming up, right? Mm -hmm. Audio people will never forget. Visual people, once they've spoken to you, they don't hold grudges. It takes them a long time, but once they've done it, they've gotten rid of the picture, they don't hold grudges. All your people will tell you time, date, place, what you did, who did what. When I was 10 years old, you did the same thing, and, and my granny did this two weeks ago, and you won't do this to me, and I tune them. Then they go tune everybody else, and I tune them. Yes. And that is where the gossiping, the backbiting, the negativity, and all the shit happens in the work environment. Yeah. And that's where the break of trust happens. And this is the simplicity of learning styles. Understanding this will allow you to take full control of who you are by understanding yourself and then the people in your life and adjusting. I always say to people, don't ever change who you are. When you walk out of this room today, never apologize for your age, your weight, your height, your eye color, your hair color, your language skills, who you are as a human being. Never apologize for that. However, <laughs> There's a however. Just tell them I'm not here. <laughs> however, you have got the ability to change and adjust. Not change. Adjust yes. the way you interact with people. Adjust the way you communicate more effectively. Adjust the way you connect with the human being in front of you. Change your perspective. Adjust the way you speak to people. Be more intentional with positive words. Take out the word nice. When you remove the word nice, suddenly, for the first time, you become aware of the other things that have been holding you back that you do every day as a habit. Subconsciously, you've been programming yourself. And when you start to be aware of the word nice and how many times you're using it, suddenly you become aware of other things you've been saying to people or the way you've been talking to people. And you adjust, your, you adjust that immediately, adjust your behavior. And you will connect with people on an emotional level at the level of the soul. So from my side, ladies, 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 and the gentlemen hiding there by the sons. <laughs> Traumatized, right? And if you're not, I don't know why you're not. But from my side, I want to say to you, my vision 
is to change this country and change this world. I know where I'm heading. I know how I'm going to do this. And I know who I am. I want to entice you on a journey where you find you, take back you, and become selfish for you, and then the word me time has got more relevance from now on. So I want to entice you, take back you. And there's three words that you should walk away with today. I choose me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time.